Welcome on in, everyone. We are back, the cousins. This is Beer Talk with Kyle and Joe. I'm Kyle. What's up, guys? This is Joe. And we are back with another review for you. Today, we are talking about a company out of Dallas, Texas, um, Living Legend Beard Co. And uh, we only it's going to be a shorter one for you. We only have one oil to go over with you, but we think it's really worth listening to, something that we're really excited to talk with you guys about. Yep. And if you're uh, checking us out for the very first time, please make sure you hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell so you don't miss any future content. And if you're already subscribed, thank you so much for joining, joining us. And you already know the routine. See you after this intro. Welcome back, guys. So like we said, we're going to be talking about One Oil from Living Legend Beard Co. And that's what that looks like here. And we'll get into that here in just one minute. Joe, talk to us a little bit about the company. Yeah. So the owner of the company, he is a Army veteran. So thank you so much for your services. We love doing our reviews uh, for veterans who have served our country. And this is one way to give back. And we're very excited for that. Um, so as we had a chance to uh, to get to know him a little bit, uh, he had explained to us that um, when he was done in the army, he wanted to grow his beard out. Uh, he was trying a bunch of different products, but couldn't find the right one for his beard. So he started doing some intensive research, decided to start making some products, and had some friends that said, "You need to you need to really expand on this." So uh, 18 months later, here we are. Uh, his company's been around since uh, September of 2018. Um, and uh, you know what? He's off to, I would say, a pretty good start. So let's dive right into this oil, man. Yep. <clears throat> so um, the as of right now, now, keep in mind, we're filming this video on a Tuesday. But as of right now, there is a, a deal going on. Um, you get uh, his oil and his balm for $20. So that's pretty sweet. $10 a piece is really hard to beat. Um, one of, of course, we'll link the website in the description, but the oil is about $12.99 and then the balm is about $16 right around there. Um, but like I said, you know, make sure you guys check it out for yourself. So the first thing that stands out to me when it comes to this oil, and I'll show it off here, is that logo. Really classic looking, really clean manly logo there love the black matte finish of the bottle just really crisp that black gold com combo the color combo really works all right so joe let's go ahead and talk about the scent of this of this product so this one is is kind of on the unique side, it's kind of hard to identify. What's the first thing that that's, uh, sticks out to you when you first smelled this in bottle and in beard? So when I first uh, smelled this one, it's, I, get, I get something that's very comfortable. I get mm -hmm. something that's, that, that's relaxing, but kind of fresh at the same time. Um, I'm picking up lavender, uh, which actually, after we had a chance to dive into the oils, we did go ahead and um, ask him what exactly or what scent he was using, uh, which ended up being a lavender and a cedar wood. Um, for me, I picked up on the lavender uh, a little bit more than I did the cedar wood. How about you? Yeah, definitely. Definitely picked up on the lavender uh, over the cedar wood. Now that I hear there's cedar wood in it, I pick up more on it. Uh, of that scent toward the back end, mm -hmm. um, which is really cool. To me, you kind of nailed you kind of nailed it and talked about it. This one is a really fresh, crisp scent, mm -hmm. um, and it's interesting because when normally when I describe that, I'm describing a cologne, but it's really not a cologne scent to me. Um, this one's just a very fresh, uh, comfortable was a great word to describe it. Scent, um, really, it's not one that I can't really see anyone not liking. Um, you know, my pregnant wife is super sensitive to smells and things like that. She really likes it. She says it's not an offensive scent and it's very fresh. So, yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, and yeah, it's, you know, it's something that was, that was very subtle as well. Um, I would say that I may, may have gotten like three, maybe four hours out of it, I would say in my beard. 
it's something that you know faded you know pretty quick but if i were to you know give my beard a little smell like that i would mm -hmm. still smell it um a little bit um, around that four hour mark and then it would start to disappear a little bit so right. yeah, definitely nothing offensive or overpowering for sure. Right. Yeah. No, I agree. This one lasted about half the day, call it four hours or so. Um, and I you know it did fade around that three, four hour mark a little bit, you know, for, with, with me it's perfectly fine. I, I, I enjoy those subtle scents as you guys know already. Mm -hmm. um, so let's talk about feel and beard a little bit. Um, this one, in my opinion, this was the best thing it had going for it, which is the most important in my opinion by far. Um, this felt really great in beard. My beard style, I would say it's kind of, see, I would call it a thinner oil. You with me on that, Joe? Or are you thinking more medium? Yeah, you know what? I didn't get, and I didn't find it to be, you know, to be too thick. And, and I'll put some in my hand here too. So as you can see, it's a clearer oil, which is always cool to see. Yeah, I do, I do like those clear oils. A lot of times when you see it clear like that, at least from my experiences, they tend to be a little thinner anyways. Mm -hmm. And just drop some there. Yeah, yeah so it, 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 slide, it slides down like. Right. Uh, yeah, and that, you know, that runs through your beard really nicely. This one absorbed into the skin, absorbed into the hair really nice. My, my beard felt moisturized throughout the entire day, well outlast, the feel outlasted the scent, which is always a good thing. Did you get yeah. that as well, Joe? Yeah, um, as I'm wiping my hands here. Um, yeah, I, I would agree with you 100%. I would say for the majority of the day that the, my beard uh, felt good. I found this to be an oil that basically, I mean, it just, it, it straight up just did its job. There was mm -hmm. nothing that, you know, totally blew me away, but it did everything that I needed it to do, which, I, and honestly, um, you know, if you're somebody who's just looking for a product like that, you don't care about all the, you know, bells and whistles that come with certain beard products that you get, this is going to be something that, that you might enjoy. Um, it did exactly what it needed to do as a beard oil, which is something that I, that I enjoyed. Right. So like we said, guys, make sure you check it out. Don't know how long it's going to be running, but oil balm combo. We saw it on the, <clears throat> excuse me, we saw it on the website. Uh, those two items for $20. You can't beat it. So we'll go ahead and throw the description of, or the, excuse me, the link to the website in our description. So you guys can go ahead and check that out for yourselves. Joe, anything else before we close it out? I think we pretty much said it all. Yeah, I mean, there's really not much else to cover. Um, you know, I will say, you know, as, as far as like, a, if I can give, you know, a little bit of a recommendation, um, you know, I would love to see maybe some additional, maybe at least two more scent pro, uh, scents mm -hmm. to go along with this, um, especially because this is a very solid product. I would love right. to see, um, you know, his skill set expanded a little bit more on, on different scents. Because, uh, you know, like we said, the, the feeling, it is right there. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I, I would love to have maybe a little bit more of a variety. And on the website, um, it was an easy website to navigate. Um, but I would like to see more uh, descriptions of the actual products, you know, um, a description of what the ingredients are, mm -hmm. and a description of what the scent profile is as well. Um, yeah. That was something that I thought was missing. And I thought that could really help out um, a lot more, especially if you're only selling one cent. I think that customer needs to know before they buy it, what exactly they're going to be getting. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's great feedback. I meant to mention that too. So thank you. Um, a scent description would be really great. I get why he you know, doesn't do it because it's the only oil listed, but people like seeing that, um, especially when it's cedar and lavender. I mean, those are two scents that are pretty neutral, um, mm -hmm. like we talked about before. So yeah, definitely some, some good feedback. Like we said, guys, make sure that you uh, go ahead and check them out for that price. You really cannot go wrong. So that is all that we have for you guys today, but as always, keep it growing. And we'll talk to you at the next one. Take it easy, guys. Right, right here. Yeah, well, I told you not to do it yourself. This is the best I've ever done, but unless it goes another three months, I'm not touching it again. If that's your best, I don't ever want to see your worst. <laughs> Fair.